Hey, Jonathan Riker here. So, uh, some people have asked uh, if I could do a little video about these little racing drones that I've been building. I haven't been doing it for very long, but they're really easy to put together. So, I've got a new stash here that I was going to make for my neighbor. And I'll just run over quickly what I got here, and then I'll maybe put together a little video of the build. It's a pretty simple throw together. And this is everything you need except for a radio control, a transmitter. Everything else is here in the back of my head. I'm pretty sure I've got everything here that you would need if you've never even been in the hobby before. So uh, here we go. A quick rundown and then a little build video and then we'll have some fun. So in no specific order, but I'm going to get rid of the biggest thing here first. I'll put links for all this. This is kind of a good starter FPV headset. This is the EA Sheen, EA Sheen VR008 duo antenna so it's not diversity if you know what diversity is but it is two antennas so it's like a dual amplification it's like uh, one step toward diversity anyway very good starter uh, headset very comfortable has a big space for your nose so you don't hurt yourself anyhow if you're new to FPV uh, what I see through here is what the quadcopter is gonna see so it's like you're racing in the pilot seat very fun so basically uh, I got one antenna here this is about five dollars yeah you can help in a minute I'm not ready for help yet this antenna can go on one of these and then I've got uh, I'm just going to throw on one of the stock antennas that this came with here. One of these little whip antennas here uh, is going to go on here. And then the other cables this comes with is just uh, a power cable to power your goggles with a LiPo battery, a 2S or a 3S uh, LiPo battery. And then uh, that's about it for that side of things. So here I, I picked a frame that's nice and simple. And it is the uh, one of the Lantian frames here, the X frame, and it has a top plate on it, so you've got room for everything. So let's see, we'll have a little look at what that's going to do for me. There we go, nice and light, very, very light. I think this was about a uh, 100 millimeter, I'm thinking 100 millimeter frame, maybe 110. So I'm going to throw my flight controller on here and the brains of the whole operation and then I'm going to put uh, this top plate on like this and have my video camera up on there and then we'll be good to go. So here's the motors I've chosen. There's lots of choices here uh, but these are the ones I chose because I am a cheap ass so they work out to only a couple dollars per motor for the set and bonus points because it comes with two sets of propellers. So these are 8.5 by 20 millimeter motors and it comes, uh, these are the Eashin ones. If you go on to Banggood, I'll put a link down there. Eashin 8.5 millimeter by 20 millimeter motors. You can get this set of motors, two counterclockwise and two clockwise motors, which you need uh, for, it was about 15 Canadian dollars and it came with two sets of propellers. Not too bad. The only downside to these motors uh, a lot of people probably notice right away. The, the wires are pretty short, uh, but they also don't come with any plugs, motor plugs for attaching. So if I'm uh, if I've got my motor right here, in this case, it's probably going to reach just right to the uh, flight controller. But um, but if you had a bigger frame and you needed a little more length, they're a little short, but it's really easy to extend them. And what else? I don't have them right on the table here, but I bought some micro JST plugs. So uh, I'll, I'll put a little picture of those here. You can use those to extend this to any length you want and have motor plugs uh, by soldering them on, uh, connecting the wires together, or you can just solder these motors straight onto the flight controller, which I'll show you next. So there's a few options there. I mean, everything's so cheap that it doesn't really matter how you do it because you're not dealing with super expensive items that you have to be really careful with. It's like, oh, I messed up a $2 motor. I better just get another one out of the pile. So anyway, here's the main uh, uh, brains of the whole quadcopter here. We've got the Sky Sky 
flight controller, the brushed flight controller. So basically this, this one was about uh, $40 Canadian. This one has motor plugs already on it, the four motor plugs here. And then these two plugs are great for, it's, it gives you five volts power. You can uh, connect your camera and video to that and you don't need a step up, a voltage step up or anything to make your video clean. It'll just be nice clean power coming out of there. We've got on here a 2.4 antenna because the receiver is also built into this. So you can bind your radio right to this, which is awesome. And then you've got micro USB, I guess you would call that right here so you can hook up to clean flight which is free software for setting it up it does come with clean flight already set up and with really good stock settings you could just fly it like this out of the box without changing any settings but if you wanted to set up some switches and change the feel a little bit uh, then you can plug in and adjust so that is my flight controller so my layout's pretty simple here oh and then one more thing video camera and video transmitter and antenna all in one unit which is very popular this is 200 milliwatt video transmitter this is the 900 tv line ea sheen one there's two different ones the other one wasn't available at the time i ordered this or i would have gotten that but this is about 10 grams so it's a little heavy but i've used it on the nanos and it works fine it has 40 channels and uh, the antenna is nicely soldered on. It's kind of a nice, easy, all ready to go unit. You just need uh, power, ground, and that's all you need to run to your, to your quadcopter, power and ground. You don't need sound. Um, and then this here, I would call it kind of a jumper. You do need to have these two yellow wires connected to each other. They just pass power through, I suppose. But anyway, so that uh, comes with two of these harnesses ready to go. I'll go over that when I set it up. I would go for the 600 TV line version if, to save weight because it's only 4.4 grams, whereas this is 10 grams. Uh, but this works fine and I'm going to use it for now. We'll do a little video up of how to put this all together and get flying. It's a pretty easy setup. So uh, have fun. Thanks for watching.